and welcome back to Card Game Wednesday, the day of the week where we enjoy all things card game related and we got hit with a pretty special poster that came out last week after the end of the spoiler season for Force of Will Wins of the Ominous Moon. Basically the set will be releasing next week, this week is going to be pre-release obviously, but we got a poster looking into what will be happening in the next cluster. So this next cluster doesn't actually have a name yet, it's only advertised as Blue Cluster and that is coming in September 2018, but it has basically been confirmed that it's going to take place in the world of Valhalla. Now, um, for the majority of people, people just assume that Valhalla no longer counted as part of the story um, because of the different reasonings for um, the set release and whatever. It was really only released um, properly in Japan and slightly released in America. I don't believe it was like ever given an official release over in Europe, although I do believe that some people managed to get a hold of some English cards for the set. But I don't think they've ever considered it like a proper part of like um, the lore of Force of Will until now because now they're addressing it. So it seems like we're going to go to the world of Valhalla which makes me pretty excited because we got like a little glimpse of some of the Valhalla characters from Vingolf 3. Um, but we never got the chance to like properly enjoy them because they weren't you know properly considered part of the game essentially. Like you got all these like really weird looking cards that didn't really seem to gel well with the current format. But I'm actually excited to see how they interpret um, this new kind of realm of Valhalla basically this new version of it in the current story. So going off the poster, we've got four characters here featured on the poster. We really only know who one of them is, which is the rabbit in the top right. I believe um, we were discussing earlier in the last of the spoiler stuff. His name is Atom. I think that's how you pronounce it anyway, or Atem. I'm going to go with Atom because I think that's how you pronounce it. So we don't really know too much about him, obviously. He seems to be light orientated so I would like to think that um, if it says the starter set and booster pack so I'm assuming that means we are going to get starter decks for um, the start of the cluster similar to how they did it with um, the start of Rhea cluster where we had the starter decks released first and then the booster packs um, for the first set came out afterwards so I would like to think that maybe he is either going to be a light ruler for the starter deck or maybe potentially going to be a light ruler for the main set um, which is the main set that starts off the next cluster. I don't know what we're going to call it. I assume that it's going to be either called Feasting or Kaguya Cluster based on the latest spoilers basically saying that um, Feasting and Kaguya have been basically uh, summoned or they've been met by Atom who says basically we need to go to Valhalla, we need to sort some stuff out over here, um, you need to leave this world behind, you need to come help me. So not sure if we're going to call it Feasting Cluster, Kayu Cluster, or maybe we're going to call it something entirely different. Heck, we could call it Atom Cluster if we really want to. But I feel like they would name it after whoever the hero of the story is. And last, like, I did argue that really Rhea wasn't the hero of her own cluster. I would say that Gil was more than anything. But maybe we'll either end up with Feasting or Kaguya. I would like it to be Feasting personally for her to be the hero because I feel like Kaguya's already gotten so much attention in like the last kind of like three uh, sets and whatnot. Uh, not sets, in the last three clusters. So I'd really like it if um, Feasting could be the hero this time around. But I'm going to go over this poster here and discuss it a little more. So obviously we have Atom in the top right. I would like to think that he's maybe the light ruler for a starter deck or maybe in the set. He seems to be an interesting character. We don't really know too much about him. He, seem he seems to be some kind of like envoy some kind of like guide or like guidance person. He was rocking a pretty pim pimping uh, cane or whatever and he's got like this kind of golden jewellery all around him. Like he's got these armlets and he had these like kind of bracelets on his legs and everything. So he seems to be a pretty styling rabbit. I don't know what his like whole thing is. He seems he can create portals kind of similar to, it kind of reminds me of like in Doctor Strange the way that they make portals there. Uh, the portals kind of sh sh uh, share a similar design if I can get the word out. But um, that seems to be quite interesting. Other than that, we really don't know too much about him, other than that he seems to be seeking people to come help him back in Valhalla, where everything began apparently, so he seems to be quite knowledgeable about that. Uh, moving on to the left-hand side here, this thing over here is very interesting looking. I'm liking the design. It's almost like a, I want to call it almost like a Lich King kind of design, or like a kind of Ent, because of the weird tree-like horns, but it is wrapped up in like some fabulous purple fabric and whatnot, and very much adorned, although they've got quite a skeletal face so I'm not too sure. Some people were thinking this was maybe going to be Kronos um, but I think they look a little bit too evil to be Kronos so maybe it'll be some kind of like evil zombie like king or whatever but he maybe could be one of the villains that we're having to face. Um, there seems to be like an army of undead also behind him so he, maybe he's leading some kind of army. Heck this could just be a normal resonator as well and this doesn't necessarily need to be a ruler as we've seen before in the different advertising posters. Not every single character featured in a poster is going to be a ruler. More often than not they are just resonators just going off of past posters. 
But I think this is really interesting here. I'd like to see some kind of maybe zombie mechanic coming back in Valhalla. I think that would be pretty neat. Uh, moving now downwards, and this is kind of interesting because at first glance I thought this was just your run-of-the-mill knight. But upon closer inspection, this guy seems to be some kind of machine. Because if you look, first of all, if you look at his armor, it's got a very kind of sci-fi kind of techy feel to it. You can see the, the glowing kind of strips underneath the shoulder pads and along the arms here. But if you look even closer at his face, he's got these lines going down his cheeks and up across his eyes, which kind of reminds me a lot of like typical kind of robot slash android design where they've got the kind of like panel lines going across the face and everything to kind of symbolize not skin, but kind of like robotics and everything, uh, which kind of makes a lot of sense. Also, the bits in the shoulder pads kind of look a little bit like gears um, just flipped on their side and everything. And you can't really see his sword too clearly because of the text kind of covering it. And his artwork seems to be shadowed a bit, but he seems to be quite techy. At first, I was thinking maybe this is King Arthur. Um, because this is like this is where all the knights originated from. They originated from Valhalla Cluster, uh, so or Ra yes, Valhalla Cluster, if we want to call it that. So I'm wondering if this is going to be either King Arthur or maybe if this is going to be some a totally different knight, someone that we've never met before, or this could be any of the knights in like a new form. Maybe the knights have become machines, something like that. Like maybe after they were basically summoned from Valhalla and everything ended and they went back, something happened and they've basically become machines. This would be a pretty cool time for Void to become a proper um, kind of entity again because we haven't had proper like Void stuff uh, since Alice Cluster essentially. We had one or two Void things in Rhea Cluster and Lapis Cluster, but nothing really as dedicated as it used to be with machines. So it'd be really cool if we got like some proper machine support again and we had um, Colorless essentially back as a proper, not element because it's not really a will attribute, but something like that I think would be pretty neat. And then moving on to the last character here. This character is actually kind of interesting. She reminds me a lot of um, Shade, if you guys remember the one from Vingolf 3, I believe, the spirit. Reminds me a lot of that in design. I think it's the, the purple kind of blackish miasma looking thing. Her hair, like she's got twin tails by the looks of it. Her hair kind of looks like smoke or like wisps of tendrils and stuff like that. And her hat has a really weird design. It's like the brim is so thin at times. It looks like, how is it even attached to her head? Like this thing just seems to be hovering above her head like it's a halo, but it's got some kind of weird kind design on the front of it here. I can't tell if that's a skull. I think it's meant to be a skull but it's kind of heart shaped but it's got like ears at the top so it kind of looks like a mouse. So I'm not too sure if maybe this is like a new interpretation of Cheshire Cat potentially but then again it is a mouse in design so um, could she could be something completely different. Um, this I do believe the artwork here is from Valentina's traditional art artist or whatever. I can't remember the name of the artist who normally draws Valentina um, but you can t definitely tell the art style like the facial style and everything like that, the way they draw is very recognizable um, but she seems to be very interesting. She seems to be some kind of witch or some kind of spirit or something like that. She's got a lot of purpley black on her. She seems to have a quite a revealing outfit here. You can see a lot of skin going down her back here um down the side and whatnot but other than that i can't think of too much else to say about the poster itself we literally don't really have much else information to go on other than we know that it's coming out in september time which is you know uh, usually the time whenever a new cluster starts after the old one finishes um just in time for after most gps are finished i would believe i believe this there's a second gp in london happening in august so this will be before that so that'll maybe be the last gp where you will be able to play um rhea cluster in or rather you'll be able to play lapis cluster in the current format unless they do early rotation but i I doubt they would do early rotation uh, because I'm expecting them to update the ban list with the release of Winds of the Omnis Moon. So we might see some interesting things. Obviously this is going to be coming out after I believe uh, GP London. I don't know if there's any GPs scheduled afterwards, like there might be some other ones happening in August as well. I think GP London is happening about the 11th of August or something like that. I think there might be one or two American ones also happening in August. There might be a, actually another European one if I remember. So those could potentially be the last GPs where you play in the format with um, Lapis Cluster and Rhea Cluster making way for uh, Valhalla.2. We're not quite sure what we're calling it yet, but I'm assuming that the name will be revealed eventually. Most likely once all the cards have been revealed for um, Winds of Omnis Moon, because that will probably give a, be a dead giveaway as to who the next hero is, unless they go with a new character. 
But I would feel like they would have to go with whoever the hero is for this cluster, so I would think they would call it Feasting or Kaguya. I'm leaning more towards Feasting because I think Kaguya's gotten a bit too much of the spotlight because I think she's just, you know, she's got too much uh, of the spotlight recently. She's got like five different rulers, like we need to take a break from Kaguya. Um, I would like it if she just went back to being a Resonator and whatnot because we've had enough Kaguya to go around. But what do you think, guys, of the reveal of the new Dawn Rises, the new cluster that's going to be taking place in Valhalla? Let me know, guys, down below what you think about it. Be sure to like and subscribe. If you're a subscriber already, be sure to hit the notification bell. I know sometimes people say that they're like subscribed and everything, but sometimes my bo uh, my videos don't show up in your subscription box. And so if you want to be updated every single time I upload something, be sure to hit the notification bell just to make sure that you are updated. Also, be sure to check out my coffee and my Patreon if you want to help support the channel. And I'll see all you guys later. This video was made possible thanks to patrons such as Alucard and Craig McCann.